Good morning, beautiful person. Greetings from beautiful Winnipeg. My name is Hadassi Vittar. I'm a life coach and a wellness advocate, and I help you make your self-care easy and convenient, which is a good thing because sometimes life is nothing like easy and convenient, so we can use all the easy and convenient we can get. Whoa. So what's wrong with me and why did I say ouch <laughs> and what's the price that I'm talking about okay here's the deal you might recall that uh, today's Friday you might recall that on Tuesday I bragged to you about how I deadlifted 165 pounds which is considerably more than I weigh and um, yeah today I'm paying the price for it <laughs> those muscles just above my glutes I woke up this morning and they were like concrete. I mean, they were a little sore yesterday, but today, hey Barb, but today really painful. So I'm wearing a heating pad. As you see, I am out for my walk, but it's uh, walking a little carefully. And I'm going to go to the gym later, but I think rather than doing the usual Friday lifting, I may get the coach to help me uh, stretch it out because I think if I lie down on the floor in my house, everybody's still asleep. I'm never going to get up again. <laughs> It's the price of stretching myself beyond what I thought I could do. Because what actually happened is that I had gone up to 155 for two, and I had planned to stop there. And my coach said, and this is why we have coaches, my coach said, add 10 pounds and do one. See, I'm sure you can do it. And I did it, and I was super proud of myself. But now I hurt. And here's the question. Are you prepared to pay the price of achieving beyond what you thought you could? Because this pain is going to go away. I'm not worried. There's no structural damage. It's just sore muscles. It's just an inconvenient place, which makes it hard for me to move. But it's, uh, it's going to be fine. So the question is, is it worth it? Oh, oh yeah, it's worth it because I know these muscles are going to come back stronger. And one of these days I'm going to look back at 165 and laugh because... I'm going to be even stronger and stronger. But the, you know, the price of getting stronger is some pain along the way. Um, you know, I've been listening to Ryan Holiday's The Obstacle is the Way. And uh, it's kind of amusing that this week I've been talking about these things. Like earlier in the week, I was having issues with my plantar fasciitis, which thankfully the stretching and so on is not a problem right now, or maybe my brain is so focused on my back it's not noticing my foot. That's entirely I shouldn't laugh. Uh, that's entirely possible. But um, the thing is, if you, uh, if you have an obstacle, if you have a plan, if you have something you're reaching for, which for me is becoming strong and flexible and healthy because I am 58 years old and I plan to become very old in a very healthy fashion my mother passed away from the complications of diabetes at the age of 69 and her last five years or so were not super high quality of life shall we say she had difficulty uh, she couldn't travel she had difficulty moving things were hard for her so i'm grateful we had her for those last five years but it was not a great quality of life it was borrowed time and I plan to not be like that. My plan is to be strong and healthy and flexible to get up and jump and dance and to have a wonderful, wonderful life and dance at my grandchildren's weddings. And I'm not going to have grandchildren for quite a while yet. Hi, Jim. So uh, my question to you is, are you willing to pay the price for whatever it is you're aiming for? Because the price for what I'm aiming for is occasionally I'm going to be really sore. And that's okay. I am willing to pay that because I know that in the long run, it is totally going to be worth it. So what about you? Do you stop the first obstacle or maybe the second obstacle? Do you say, oh, this hurt. I ran into a problem. I ran into pain. I'm just going to let it go and not do this. Is that what you're saying? So if you are, I would love you to reconsider that. <laughs>
And uh, if you aren't, I want to cheer you on and say, go get him, Tiger, because it's going to be totally worth it. So keep going. So uh, that's all I'm going to do today. It's not going to be a very long walk, I think. But hey, I walked. <laughs> and um, if you like this sort of mindset thing, just to, just to remind you that I have a mailing list which goes out once a week, one email a week, not very long. And, uh, and this kind of, and it's, it's an email that has this kind of thing in it. So if you like this sort of mindset work, just drop me a message right here. Press the button that says message. <laughs> and uh, I will be super excited to add you to that mailing list. So everyone, have a great day. Remember, I love you. Have a great long weekend if you're in Canada. Uh, Shabbat Shalom if you celebrate Shabbat. And I'll talk to you again soon. And drop me a message if you want to join this mailing list and get one email a week. Bye.